Next, I'm going to talk about Studio Art AP Drawing and Studio Art AP 2D Design, but I'm going to start by giving a general overview of all the Studio Art AP classes. We also have 3D AP, which Ms. DC will talk to you about, and 2D Design Photography, which Mr. Grow will talk to you about. Um, the Studio Art AP classes are open to everyone in grades 11 through 12. You um, are required to have taken Art Foundations, and it's suggested that you take at least two other art courses in your area that you want to focus in and have a portfolio review with the teacher of the course before enrolling in the course. With the Studio Art AP portfolio, this is an AP test. So throughout the year, um, you're basically taking the test for this class. It's not like Art History AP or um, one of the other um, subject matters where you have a test in May. Um, you do have a test in May where you have to submit your entire portfolio, but all year long, you are creating artwork to send to the College Board for your AP portfolio. You'll be creating a um, collection of five works that are high quality pieces that showcase your skills and your talents, um, like your best of your best works that you can create. And the majority of the, the course is focused on the creation of what's called the sustained investigation. So you've got selected works, which are your high quality works, and sustained investigation. The sustained investigation is 15 works that you create that's based on a theme of you're choosing to explore. So you'll formulate a question of what you want to focus on for your, your selected, um, your sustained investigation throughout the year, um, your selected focus. That's what makes this course challenging. It is very independent and it's very self-directed. You do not have us really giving you a lot of assignments outside of some of maybe the early selected works um, assignments. You have to generate your ideas and your explorations on your own. It's not just about the art making. You're also required to keep a sketchbook for the class where you're documenting your research and your ideas. And you do have to write down um, information about your research, your process, your idea development, and your materials um, in companionship with the images that you submit for the AP portfolio. So this is a rigorous course that focuses not only on the creation of art, but how you're coming up with your ideas and how you're really pushing yourself to make those ideas evolve. In the drawing portfolio, the focus is more on mark making, how you're handling the surface of whatever it is that you're drawing on. So it's all two-dimensional artwork. Um, so you could be working in charcoal, you could be working in Prismacolor pencil, realistically, abstractly. It's just all about how you're laying down your unique mark on a page. When we move more towards the 2D design portfolio, this one focuses more on compositional elements. So more of the handling of the elements and principles of design and how they relate to 2D space and composition. With the 2D portfolio, you do have some options to do things that are fully digital. So if you're somebody that really enjoys using the Adobe Suite, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, you could do the 2D AP portfolio. Um, you can also integrate things like mosaic work and some textile work as well into the 2D portfolio. You have a little bit more freedom with the types of materials that you're working with. Um, you can get a little bit more crazy with the abstractions because it's not how you're laying down the mark on the page so much and creating your own signature style. It's more about how you're organizing all of the elements on the page. Um, so we usually recommend that you take the 2D design in your junior year because it's a little bit easier to wrap your head around since we focus so much on the elements and principles of um, art and design in the courses leading up to this. And then usually um, explore drawing in your senior year when you have a little bit more um, advanced experience with a range of materials and you have a